Hello guys, welcome to your fifth Roblox Lewis scripting tutorial. I hope you like the new intro. I'll try to be doing those new intros on every tutorial. They're really easy to make, um, but that's not what this tutorial is about. So, open up Roblox Studio and, and enter the script in the workspace. And in this tutorial, I will be going over everything we have learned in the previous uh, tutorials. So, I know in the first tutorial, it was just how to get set up and how to enter the script in the workspace. Second tutorial was variables, so we're going to start from there. Brick equals workspace dot part. If you, if you haven't already noticed, I only put workspace. I did not put game dot capital W workspace and that is because the people who created Roblox Lua thought it'd be easier if you only had to put workspace dot part instead of game dot capital W workspace dot part but say you wanted to access sky which is in lighting you would have to put game dot lighting dot sky because uh, it only works with workspace if you want to um, put workspace instead of game dot workspace so it's gonna give you a complicated error in the output which is right here workspace dot script line one attempt to index global li lighting a nil value and then roblox nil is uh basically false so game dot lighting in the output would not error anymore so yeah so workspace dot part okay now we're gonna go on to the third tutorial which was manipulating um, manipulating properties using a script so we're gonna do that right now brick dot brick color equals brick color dot new let's change it to a uh, red color so what that would be really red and it changed to red there's this thing in Roblox Lua called wait open and closing parentheses so wait open parentheses and then you're gonna type how much seconds you want it to wait so five would equal five seconds one would equal one second sixty would equal a minute so we're only gonna put one second wait one second and then we're gonna change the brick color to um... green so now this will set brick to equal this it's gonna change the brick color to equal really red then it's gonna wait one second and then change the brick color to lime green one there alright um wait one second and then we're gonna use a boolean I think I taught you that what are yeah what booleans are in the third tutorial it's basically like a true boolean equals a check mark false equals not check mark so wait one second brick dot anchored equals true so it's basically just like doing that but with a script um okay change that that and then that alright Oh, and by the way, my mouse was right there. I don't want you to make um, it look like I clicked it because I didn't. And then wait one second. We're going to change the bricks position um, to 111. 
So it's going to change the brick color to really red. Wait one second. Change the color to lime green. Wait one second. Make it anchored equals true. Wait one second and change the vector 3 position to 111, which is right here. So this is going to change to 111. Let's see if that happens. Green or really red, lime green, anchored 111. Okay, guys. That's it for this tutorial. I know in the fourth tutorial, the last one I have done, um, I taught you about else statements and if conditions are true statements. I'm not going to include that into this tutorial, but I will in a uh, later on tutorial. So, that's it guys. Send me a message at Games Are My Thing on Roblox. If you need help with scripting, don't forget to like, like subscribe, and... That's it. Bye.